Maker Faire itself was started by O'Reilly Media, which publishes Make Magazine as well as computer books. And what we do is we bring together innovative, creative, uh, odd people together onto, onto a street in Providence once a year, have them set out their inventions. There's guys with 3D printers. There's a, a trebuchet of some sort of medieval siege instrument. There was a robot driving around that I literally, I don't even know who was controlling it. I, maybe no one was, I don't know. Maybe it was just on its own. There's a subwoofer the, the size of like my cousin. I don't know what I can tell you about it. It's a bunch of weirdos with strange machines and art. We're looking for innovative projects. We're looking for things that people have built themselves. They don't have to have invented it themselves. If it's something they've made and they're proud of and they want to show off and they have a story to tell, then they're in. This is a MakerBot thingamatic, and these are cupcakes. This is a RepRap cushion that was actually printed on a MakerBot. This is a Firefly. This is supposed to be uh, the beginnings of a, a software-defined radio. These are uh, a type of sunglasses called Eyegas. This is our uh, 2011 Formula SAE race car. And we make uh, educational kits and rapid prototyping tools. We're going to be making a nut round today. I make wacky instruments and electronics. I made this small computer. It's for connecting weird stuff for the internet. And I'm showing off my massive aluminum subwoofer. We take old homeless comic books and make them into new usable and wearable art. That is named Frankenbike. We make microcontroller boards. This is a noise making circuit put into an Atari joystick. It makes fun like 8 bit style noises. <laughs> So this is something that we make in Fab Academy, and we take copper quad PCB stock, and we mill that out on a Modella milling machine. Personally, I like you know building my own instruments or like modifying instruments, guitars, electric guitars. I do a lot of like hacking around with those, and I like helping people make those types of things. The inspiration behind the Mini Maker Fair was I wouldn't call it an inspiration, just a duty. You know, Kip is also involved with Make, he's on the Technical Advisory Board. Uh, I'm Kip Bradford, usually I just make a mess. We saw this powerful thing that we had, um, the, this, the idea of a Maker Fair, and we just, you know, we just knew we had to do it.